feels like rendezvous You know what to do Keep your love for me only I get high on you Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's officially spring and I've been loving some new products. Well, new to me. They're not like new new, but they're new to me. And personally, I don't know if you guys are still into like favorites videos, but I know that I love watching favorites videos. They're absolutely some of my most favorite videos to watch. Just because I feel like in a favorites video, you can truly like get someone's genuine opinion on a product and if it's good or not. And because they've had like time to try it and obviously they're like loving it, you just you get a better idea if like the product is good or not, you know what I mean? Um, so I have a bunch of like skincare, not a bunch, I have a few skincare products, some makeup products, a fragrance. So let me just get started. Um, I'm gonna talk about the fragrance first. I'm somebody who never liked Chanel perfume. I felt like it just smelled like a grandma and I didn't like the smell. If you guys love like the classic Chanel number no. five perfume, that's good. I just, it's just not something that I love the smell of. But I know so many people like absolutely love it and Chanel is like a classic scent. The number five Chanel is like a classic scent. But I was at Macy's and just like walking through Macy's trying to get to the rest of the mall and I saw this perfume and I was like, hmm, that's new, let me smell it. And it's the Coco Chanel Mademoiselle um, perfume. The bottle looks like this. It smells amazing. Like this smells amazing. Oh, it just smells so gorgeous. Oh my god, to me this smells like a mixture between La Vie is Belle by Estee Lauder, which is my all-time number one, I'm sorry, La Vie is Belle by Lancome, which is my all-time number one most favorite scent ever. That's like my go-to scent, like I feel like that's like my signature scent. So this kind of smells like that mixed with Miss Dior, if you've ever smelled Miss Dior um, perfume mixed together into one and it smells so good, like this is such a good <sighs> day scent night scent it's a little bit heavier but I love if I'm gonna wear perfume I want to wear perfume that like smells and stays with me and this one does it smells so good if you have a chance go smell it you will not be disappointed it smells if you especially if you love La Vie Belle, you will not be disappointed this smells amazing and Miss Dior you will not be disappointed it smells incredible it's a little bit pricey obviously because it's Chanel but it's great okay so let's go to skincare. Um, this is, well, you guys are gonna see a lot of these products again in my skincare routine, but you'll actually like get a more in-depth video and like review of them and see me using the products. But I just wanted to shout out a couple of them because they truly are amazing. If you're looking for a new face wash and you're at like Target or the drugstore or whatever, this one is by Formula 10. I think it's called Formula 10. It's Formula 10.0.6. Um, it looks like this. It's called Best Face Forward Daily Foaming Cleanser, Passion Fruit, and Green Tea. Um, it looks like this. this. is what the bottle looks like. It's really good. I have, like, this much left of it. Um, it says, this fresh foaming gel cleanser washes away oil and impurities for a sparkling, clear complexion. Green tea and chamomile pacify... Pacify? Is that what it's supposed to be? Pacify. While passion fruit balances skin, your skin... But your skin looks clean, clear, and healthy every day. And this truly is an amazing cleanser. Like, I use this before and then, like, show or, you know, went to end the vlog or something. And you guys are like, oh, my God, what are you washing your face with? Your skin looks like it's glowing. And it's this cleanser. Like, it is amazing. It's amazing. Like, it just cleans everything. I don't have any more blackheads. Everything's gone. However, if you have dry, like, truly dry skin, I would say you can still use this, but use this maybe, like, every other day because it can be drying. Um, I have normal skin. Sometimes it's dry. Sometimes it's oily. And this works amazing for me. I absolutely love it. It's, like, the best drugstore face wash that I've ever tried. It's so good. The next thing I have for skincare is the Murad Skin Perfecting Lotion. I love this. If you guys watch my Get Ready With Me's, you see me always use this before I put makeup on. It's a really, really great daytime moisturizer. Super, super lightweight. However, it does hydrate the skin and it's good for acne prone skin. So I love it. Um, it's just really good. I honestly love all the Murad stuff. There's not one product from Murad that I've tried that I didn't like. I have... I did this mask today. It's the Murad Intensive C Radiance Peel, and it's really good. Like, amazing. Amazing, amazing. This helps to get rid of, like, dark spots and stuff. I've definitely talked about this before in a favorite, so I'm not going to talk about it, but anything from Murad I truly love, and this moisturizer is no different. It's definitely a favorite. Very lightweight. Just looks great on the skin. It preps you for makeup. Great daytime moisturizer. 
and it's good for acne prone skin. So what more could you ask for? Um, and as far as like my night moisturizer, I have been loving, like my skin feels like a baby's butt. Like it's so soft. This is the Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Plus Global Anti-Aging Cell Power Cream. Um, it comes in like a little gold bottle jar like this. Looks like that. It's really good. The cream inside is like a light blush color, if you can see there. I'm almost out of it. It's so good. Has a light fragrance. It just, it's really nice. It sits beautifully on the skin. It sinks in by the morning. You, your skin just feels hydrated and like plump. I love it. So this is for all skin types. That's all it really says. I don't have the box. <laughs> it just says you can use it if you have all skin types. So really love if you're looking for like a nice nighttime moisturizer. It has some anti-aging properties in it. So it's never too it's never too early to start anti-aging with your skin. Starting an anti-aging skincare routine. I love it. And the last skincare item I have is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Chamomile, and Lavender. This is a travel size. I keep this one by my bed. Let's see. Yeah. You can see right there. I'm like halfway through. It's really, really good. It just, it's so relaxing. I'm about to spray right now. It's so like soothing. Like you literally feel like you're at a spa with the chamomile and the lavender. It's just, it's so good to spray in your face right before you go to bed and just set the tone for like a nice relaxing night. Okay. Moving on to some makeup products. I could not not film this video and not talk about my Maybelline <laughs> foundation. I am obsessed with this stuff. I love it. it. Again, if you watch my Get Ready With Me, some of this might be a little bit repetitive as far as like the makeup stuff, but I love this foundation. It's so gorgeous on the skin. It's like a nice medium coverage. It's buildable. Um, this is what the bottle looks like. It's the Dream Liquid Mousse Foundation by Maybelline. I am in the shade 30 Natural Ivory and it's like incredible. The best, I want to say it's the best drugstore foundation that I've ever tried. Um, I do have the other one from Maybelline that everyone was raving about, the Superstay 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. And honestly, I did not love this one as much as I love the Dream Liquid Mousse. So bomb, so good, so affordable. The color match is perfect. I love it, it's so good. Okay, the next makeup product I wanna talk about is the mascara. I got this in a boxy charm, I believe. It's the Tarte Tardis Mascara. This is incredible for lengthening your, mas your mascara, lengthening your eyelashes. It is phenomenal. Like, and I'm one of those people that was like, mascara is mascara. Like, I'll just buy it at the drugstore. And that still is true. There's really great, like, mascara options at the drugstore. Like the L'Oreal, the Luminous, the Pink Tube one is incredible. But this is so good. Like, so good at, like, pulling your lashes out and up. It's, it's incredible. Um... Uh, one of my other favorites from Tarte for the mascara is their Lights Camera Lashes. I just feel like Tarte does a really good mascara. So if you're in the market for a new mascara, check this one out. It's really good. Again, it's the Tarte Tartist Mascara. Bomb. Okay, and then I want to talk about my eyelashes. I threw away the box this morning. I'm so mad at myself because I was keeping it and keeping it. I think I threw it away, right? Yeah. Um, I'm going to try to insert a picture here of what the box looks like. These are the Eyelore Silk Eyelashes. And they're amazing. They look like the Lily Lashes in Miami, which I was obsessed with. Um, they're so full, so fluttery, and just like beautiful. I love them. Check them out. I found these at Target. They were under $10. They're, again, the Eyelore Silk Eyelash. This particular style is called the Marquise Lash. I'm going to try to find the box to show it to you right here, but they're amazing. Like, love. I feel like this has been a really nice, like, drugstore makeup kind of <laughs> um, favorites video. Because my next product is also a drugstore favorite. Um, this is a Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick. This is in the color 65 Seductress. This is amazing. I love these liquid lipsticks. These actually beat out my higher end liquid lipsticks. Like I like these better than the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks, the Kylie Jenner liquid lipsticks. Uh, who else do I have in here? Tarte. Tarte. Uh, Jue, like these just beat it. They're amazing. They're a really cool formula because when you open it, it looks quite, almost like a gel, in my opinion. It's like almost, like it looks almost like a lip gloss. Like it's sticky kind of, if you can see that. I don't know if you're seeing that. <laughs> um, 
but the formula is amazing. It stays on through eating. I wore this on a 12 hour day. I was up really early. I went to work. I ran errands. I ate lunch. I ate dinner. And this was still on my lips at the end of the day. Like amazing. Again, under $10, really affordable. They have a great color range. Try these if you haven't tried them. Love. I think that's it. I think that's all I have guys. So please let me know if you have anything that you're like completely obsessed with, like one of your all time favorites, let me know in the comments down below so I can go ahead and try it out. Cause I'm always on the hunt for like the next best thing when it comes to like makeup or skincare or anything, I would love to know about it. So yeah, I love you guys all so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.